<laughs> special delivery. What's that? Oh, beefcake beef construction merch. New nice. stuff. New stuff. Off the fresh off the press. Hey, you know what? This hat, almost one year. Really? <laughs> it's the same hat. I don't have hats, so I'm sorry. COVID. What? You can't get a hat. That's only one. Really? One of one. I'll get more. <laughs> I got one. I want that. I want one of those beefcake NASCAR ones. You like you want? That's here. what I'm marking too. I this. like that. Uh, let's see if I can get another. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, nice. All right, there's there you no, go. Uh, Sweet. Beefcake, beefcake racing. There's no uh, Thank you. All right, that's copyright good. infringement on that. Oh, yeah, we're, no, we're definitely getting sued, yeah. It's another construction one. Yeah, look at this. Oh, God, yeah. The old backhoe. Oh, <laughs> 17th of May. Coming. Coming soon. Uh, let's see. More constructions. Yeah, there's larges and extra larges. They run a little small, but there's larges and extra larges. Sweet. So I'll just awesome. put this in the shop. Cool. But. Yeah, I can Shoot. Shoot. Uh, Shoo! All right. Well, you saw we got some new merch coming. May 17th, ladies and gentlemen, dropping. Uh, and we're going to, we got a bunch of cool new designs. I'm wearing this one right here, Beefcake Construction. We got a couple of hats. There'll be some more stuff. But today's episode is power washing. Not a great day. Looks like I'd say it is kind of sprinkling a little bit. But we want the, this place looking nice and shiny, looking good, clean. So we are planning on selling this. So we, we're trying to get everything fixed up. We've got some grass seed going. We put in a silt sock there. Again, I know it's like I started this channel to show you guys the behind the scenes. And there's still things that we don't catch. It's just, it's every day. It's every stinking day. So we've got Pop Beefcake over there and Nate. Nate is Brad's son. And he's now, uh, he's like the, the farmhand manager guy. He's doing a bunch of stuff. And Jake's doing Jake things. What do we got there? Power washer. That's Pop of Beefcakes. We got two of them. We brought in backup, ladies and gentlemen. We said, hey, quit messing up the grass seed. Lucy. Lucy, stop. No, no, no. Go lay down. No, no you're messing no, up the grass no, seed. No, no. Millie. Come here. Go lay down. You're messing up the grass seed. Get out. We got two. Look at that. Two power washers. We are ready to rock and roll. So we're going to power wash the driveway. We're going to power wash the sidewalk, the deck. We're going to paint. We got. We have some paint painting to do on the steps to make everything look nice. And then we're also going to power wash the back deck, which is going to be a cool video. It has been power washed for years. It's going to be one of those super satisfying like before and afters. So I'm super excited about that. But this, you can see the paint is chipping doesn't look the greatest it's all dirty and scratched up thanks to you it's hard to keep things looking nice with you doggy so we're gonna power wash everything you know we're not gonna so i'm actually i know i know i'm hiring somebody i know i'm hiring somebody to wash my house because you're not supposed to supposedly you're not supposed to power wash you're supposed to do soft wash but with chemical and get up on lat like there's so much to it and it was like the quote wasn't that much and i was like we can only do so much bfk construction can only do so much we have other projects going on we can't spend a week washing my house so we're hiring a company to do that they're coming monday but for now we gotta we'll just wash this whole this is all this is all nice stuff this is uh the not real wood stuff that lasts forever but we give this whole thing a nice scrub down and like i said the company will come out and they'll wash the actual siding and make it look good uh but we're gonna wash the deck and the front steps and then pop beefcake is gonna paint the front steps get them all painted so those will look nice so driveway sidewalk porch steps and then we'll go to the backyard and there's concrete back there that we can wash and then entire deck and like i don't know if you guys see my deck it's a large large deck that's never been washed for i don't know how many years many many years um so we're gonna wash it we'll let it dry and stain it so i don't know if we'll stain it or seal it today probably not we're gonna have to let it dry a little bit longer than that but we got everything we got at least we got two power washers for the chemical for this we're gonna use the degreaser it's not specifically designed for driveways but it'll help get some of the grime off i'm sure there's some better stuff out there we just didn't have time to pick anything up and then we've got some wood deck fence pressure wash that we can use as well uh, and that's for the actual deck itself so what we're going to do is try to soak it pre-soak it i don't know if that's necessary or whatever but we'll, we'll start pre-soaking it and then start throwing the degreaser on it and then we're probably gonna have to let it sit i'll probably ask you guys to put these dogs inside so oh, let's go to your let's go to your kennel come on lucy lucy go to your kennel we don't need you guys licking grease or degreaser i should say so we'll go ahead and put these dogs away get it pre-soaked and pre-washed come in we've got a little floor scrubber too like the little circular like you just walk with it and it spins around it should be really cool like i said this should be a really cool before and after so i'm hoping for so you guys stay tuned Alrighty, folks. I'm gonna give the old pre-soak action. You're the old soaker, and uh, so pre-soak, chemical, wash. It's first time. I mean, I've, oh, here we go. Now we're talking. Oh yeah, get that soakage. This is the first time I've power washed my driveway. I mean, I guess I've power washed before, but we've never actually like legit power washed it. Meaning like chemicals and my little uh, buggy thing that we're gonna be pushing on. First, time, I've never used that before, so that'll be. A new experience for me but you see like can you see that little spot right there so we gotta get rid of that but i'm gonna get this thing soaked i got some waders to wear it's not warm today 
I'm already getting wet in my boots. It's not warm today, but go ahead and just get a. Is this, is this all the horsepower we got out of this suck? I feel like this is a this is a weak stream. Let's go ahead and just get this thing pre-soaked. I don't know if you need to do what I'm doing. I'm just, I don't know. I don't think it's gonna hurt. Just getting it nice, nice and wet. And then like I said, we'll get the spray. We got some degreaser. I think there's some Dawn dish soap in there, which wasn't really intentional. It was already in the jug and we left it. So if that messes everything up, uh, I'll let you know. So then you don't make the same mistake as I do. That's the whole point of this, boys. Some of you little perfect. I'm, I'm sure I'm gonna find out half of my subscribers on here power wash for a living. And you guys are gonna let me know how I messed it up. I'm just giving you guys a hard time. I like the criticism, I really do. You know, you guys told me I'm so the only thing I messed up on the lawn one, you guys see the lawn one? I put pre emergent down of like weed killer and then I put seed down, grass seed. And guess what happened? This seed didn't grow. So you guys see, I learn. I'm learning. It didn't cost much. I didn't put that much seed down. Ain't a big deal. I'll just reseed here in another week or so, once that pre-emergent kind of gets out of the system, and life will be good. This stream is pretty weak. Yeah? Yeah. I might just suck, I don't know. Yeah. We're getting it though. Might just be the amount of hoses. Yeah, we got we got a lot of hoses. Oh yeah, can we you think we can run two power washes off one one hose bib? We can uh we could always run one from the backyard. I don't think it will. We might have to run one hose out the back. Yeah, go for it. Okay. Or here, you want to take it? You can take over for me, and I'll just do that. Right. I got about half the way of the driveway done, pre-sprayed. Um, I mean, you can try it. I yeah, I don't. You go ahead, just go ahead and hook yours up. Because okay. we, we we got. We can run around this side. Yeah, we can run around the other side. We can run ours. I don't know. I don't know which way is shorter. Oh, right, here you go. You get right. the, you get the, watch it. It's leaking on. You're gonna leak you on your boots. Oh, yeah, you don't have boots. Them waders on. You got, hey, you got shoes on. I got the old shoes. Shoes. Come on. All right. How's this working? Sing doing what it needs to do. I need to pump pump it up. I think it's gonna take a minute, but go ahead and get the old spray going. There's gotta be a better way to do this, right? Well, I mean, it's just, it's just gonna take me a few hours. I wonder if uh, I should put on the in the backpack sprayer or something. Well, well, I was thinking, do you have uh, you have one of those things that hooks up to a hose? Yeah. Auto wash. Yeah. That we could just put that in and just use this and just spray it all over. Go for it. Yeah. See, go for, try to find. I'll keep doing this. But yeah, you're right, like this is, I mean, it'll work. It's just gonna take a minute. Yeah, this spot right here, this old brown spot, we gotta, get, we gotta take care of this guy. Do you want to dump this and that? All right, new sprayer, who dis? Think this will work better? I don't know. <laughs> this is meant for spraying chemicals, so. Give it a pour. It doesn't hold as much, but maybe it'll come out a little better, a little faster. There we go. All right. I'll turn your hose off and that just screws on. All right, 
are switching. You can hear Nate. Nate's got the power washer. He's getting the he's getting the front porch done did up. We're gonna try. I bought this sucker and never used it. Got it for washing like mules and stuff, but this should work too. Give her hell. Oh God. Oh wow. I mean, I feel like that's better. It's leaking a little bit, but it's better. It's definitely doing something. It's better than, well, yeah, I think this makes this, this. Oh shit, she's leaking. Yeah. But I'll just hold her out here for right now. I mean, this. this that's doing better though. This, this, this looks like you're actually washing things. Yeah. This is what I'm talking about. It's actually it up. It's like washing the car. Yeah. Satisfying. Need to play a song working at the car wash. The bikini on. Oh god, yeah. We're fans doing the speed up. I told him he had to come out today. He didn't. He said no. He didn't want to. So, do you want to figure out if uh, one power washer works on one? But Baber, do you guys want to run a hose? Uh, yeah, I can start running. Hose I'm guessing. Now. I'm guessing it won't. I would. We we'll get better pressure if we just run a second. All right. I'll just run a second. All right. Oh yeah, this is definitely the deal here. We're getting things done. This looks great. See, I'm being productive. I started uphill. Look at me. Watch, the driver's gonna wash itself. I'm gonna go to the other side. I'm getting smart, don't worry. I'm not a total idiot. Start on the hillside and let the... Oh, Rhett, we're out. That's all right. It'll be all right. Close enough. We're about out of juice anyway. that do hose things fill this bad look at this look at that, that little sprayer is the deal you got to get yourself one of them bad boys all right let's throw a little more greaser in here i think we'll be about ready to start washing yeah it, it ran through that but i mean it, this looks good oh yeah this looks what it's supposed to look like. yeah all right, the boys are gonna go get some hoses hooked up in the back, because Nate's got the one hose bib already occupied. I don't think we can rock two out of a power wash. I don't have that good of pressure. Really wish I could get this thing tight. It's gonna have to get a little wet. I have some waders, I should put those on. Oh yeah, now we're spraying. There you go. This thing have an adjustment here? Oh. What's this thing do? Okay, I don't know. I don't know which one's better. All right, we're going to finish soaking this thing. We're good for that. Yeah. 
Yeah. All right, boys, let's get the old waders going here. I ain't trying to get damp. All right, waders are going on. Yeah. Yeah. The that green thing is what made it work. That little sprayer kind of sucks. Yeah. That big that that oh. attachment works really well though. Nice. All right. Ready. ready. Like These are full full of water from them washing them now. Oh water. yeah, I'm wet. I put my food now. It's too late now. All right. <laughs> are we are we good? Yeah, I'll go turn your water okay. on. Okay. You ever use one of these suckers? Uh, not the attachment, but yeah, that's pretty thick. It's like a scrubber, a little scrubby, a little scrub yeah. daddy. We'll see I if it works. I wish I had one of those. We'll, 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 we'll see if it works. I've seen like the two big ones. Yeah. Where you are like you kind of like it's a bigger. This one's a small one. This might take a while to actually. Oh, and it' gonna be an hour for sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys might go get one. It's just gonna be a minute. <laughs> yeah. you need get three of them while I go like this. Yeah, seriously. How it goes. Let's see. Let me get this corner first and just realize I'll be kicking all this stuff to you. Okay, all right. That out. Sounds good. Just give us no, like this. Coming through the hose. This hose tape. This power washer kind of sucks. It'll go. It should go. There it goes. There it is. Oh, wh wow. What's going on here? Is that a little bit of soap in the tank? I guess. I guess I could do this, and then he could come and spray it. True. How, are we gonna be fighting it though? Look at it. It's coming up. Wow. Oh, this thing. This thing gets it. Oh, good. It. What you want? It's like a vacuuming. It's weird.
we got half the driveway washed. We're gonna go ahead and rinse it and do a side-by-side -side comparison. I think it's gonna look the same.
30 minutes later, ladies and gentlemen, we got the driveway and the sidewalk completely washed. We're gonna, we'll find out. This is factor cap, ladies and gentlemen. This little spin do hickey. You saw how many suds and bubbles and dirt it was getting out. We did not use it on that side of the driveway. So, when it dries, we'll let you know. If it dries today, I'll let you know. That's what we'll post it in a future video. But we need to find out if, so you can see a difference. You can't. It looked cool and it's yeah. easy. I'm, a, I'm also thinking your pressure washer might not have enough pressure, Pr pressure. to really have that True. doing what it's supposed True. to True, we might need to get a beat. We need to a beat pick pressure easy. washer. Yeah, that one's better. We need to get one of them big daddies. Yeah. The big, the big hosses. Well, so, once it dries is really what, what oh, yeah, we'll yeah, tell, but we literally went right down the middle. That side did not have the circular thing. That side did. So Nate's going, he's cleaning that up. He got the porch done. We gotta wait for the steps to dry. Pop cakes gonna paint the steps. Uh, we got the sidewalk power washed. And so pretty much everything on the front's power wash now. We need to go to the backyard and the deck. It's gonna take it's gonna take some more time and it's gonna take a little bit more finesse, ladies and gentlemen. You can't get real close to it. You start making streaks on the deck, you will see it forever. It's not gonna go away. So we have to be kind of a little bit more careful with that. But we also have some deck wash as well. So what's what do you think the strats of the deck wash? Do you think put it in the power washer? Do you think just pre-soak it? Maybe what's uh, the idea? We can put it in that one. Yeah. Because that one sprays a little bit lighter. Yeah black nozzle on it yeah. instead of using that floor thing yeah sprays a pretty like light stream and it'll spray out a ton of that stuff because you don't that little spinner thing ain't gonna do good for the deck yeah, you don't man, think i don't think i think it might be too much like on it yeah you know, like right on it yeah but yeah yeah black one you control like, Con control, control the height you yeah I, you were, i'm sure they make it but you need to make something that like extends off your tip with like a little roller so you can just like so you keep the same distance from the spray yeah, not you know what i mean they do they make them, something like that yeah they make them so you can like power wash the underside of your cars uh, and stuff they like roll oh yeah i have seen that and yeah. then you can flip it down and wash the oh we should have should have got one of those because yeah we're, we're gonna have to keep the same distance uh -huh. if we get close all of a sudden we'll start writing graffiti yeah, sure and you're like six inches yeah. away on the whole thing yeah kind of going in too close and just keep just keep keep that. going so so do you you think put it in that and pre-soak it or is it a pre-soak or is this just a wash? I'm it not sure about like this. like washing it with that at a lower pressure okay. and then we'll come back. And then just use that thing to higher, rinse it? With a little higher pressure and just kind and of... And just give her the rinse. All right. Well, let's take it to the backyard. Stay tuned.
Look down here, folks. Look at all this dirt. All look at this dirt right here. Dirt, mud, dirt that came from up there. We'll show you what it looks like when I show you. Look at all that dirt. So we got the top done, the main surface. Now we just have to do the stairs, the railings. That's a, a little bit more tedious, but you don't have to. Like we had to really pay attention to how the distance of the water from the nozzle to the deck because it'll make marks that are basically permanent. Oh wait, this goes this way. But that's what it looks like. I mean, it looks pretty darn good. There's not a ton of uh, brush marks that I can see that, you know, where there's like mess ups or anything like that. Got a little light on this side, but it's, I mean, for the most part, it looks fairly even. As long as it's even, that's all we really care about. So again, you, you don't want to go super close, but I mean, look at all the mud that splashed up on the house. Yeah, I'm glad we did this before I washed my house. Yeah, now everything will be clean. Because then, then they can clean everything. So I think we've made the decision we're probably going to have to stain it and paint it. Stain or paint it, I should say, and seal it. We'll see what we think. Oh, I didn't do this. Look at that. I stopped right there, so I'll finish that. But, and I didn't do the bottom railing, so and I missed a few things. So we'll go ahead and finish this. Now we're just gonna go to the outside and start getting all the posts under it. Try to get all the mold mildew, all that gross stuff. I mean, there's still, I just, Cracks, there's some. I don't know if it's worth. You just come through there really close though, and then you risk. That's, you that's, that's what I'm crooked, worried about. You put a big old mark. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm worried about. If we, you know, if we paint it, you're not gonna see those marks. Yeah. But still, if we just stain it, if we decide to stain it, you will see those marks. True. I guess you won't see it if you paint it versus stain it. I don't know which one we should do. So either way, well, I don't know. I'm not super worried about that. It's, it is what it is. It's a deck. It's this a thing's, deck. what did we say, 10, 12 years old? Yeah, about. 12 years. She's an oldie. So anyways, let's get spraying the rest.
I'm damp. I'm wet. Yeah, I'm damp. Where's Banjo at? Wait, where's Banjo? This is a good day for Banjo. Yeah. What the hell? No, he was a smart guy here. Uh, so is it done? Yeah. Yeah. I did all this underneath here. Yeah. I did all the outsides. So the outsides, what's well, probably most the important, right? Yeah. Like, like this, the way you this can wasn't see. very weathered. Like it didn't really change a no. lot, but the outsides did. Yeah. Like, yeah. A lot lighter. Oh, it looks. It looks good to me. I mean. It, you won't really tell once until it dries. Once yeah. it dries, you're gonna be like, grip. Your railing looks good though. Yeah, that sure. looks all cleaned up. Try to get, it, there's a lot more to it than you think. If there's one guy, mm -hmm. I mean, I'll take it forever. It'd be quite the task. What, what time is it? We got a time check? Uh, yeah, like 12. You think that was like maybe an hour and a half? Uh, it's it's noon right now. It's probably an hour and a half maybe. Just Not awful for as big of a deck as that was. Um, but yeah, we're wet, we're damp. She's cleaned up nice though. I think we're just gonna let her, let her dry. All right, so I'm new to this thing. Never done this. Stain will show any imperfections, paint won't. Yeah, right? well, if you just go thick enough with to an like, extent. Yeah, yeah heavy yeah, enough with yeah. the stain, it'll cover up. Yeah. But like, I'm just, just worried there's like some brush coat. marks and stuff, and you're going to see them if you stain it. Unless we stain yeah. it, what if we stain it dark? Well, like, you like see, a real like, dark color. This is lighter right here because they. this has been power washed twice Already. now because yeah. this is where Pop Beefcake yeah, yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, this will be a little bit lighter than this Once well, it dries. Like, through your stain. But if you if do you like paint, a sealant and paint, paint coats, like a latex yeah. one or a oil based one, then that'll just cover all. Yeah, that. yeah. yeah we'll, have to, we'll have to see. We'll let it. Go. We'll give it the old dry. We'll we'll film it. I mean, whenever we do it, we'll come out here and uh, get the crew back and try to get try to get her stained or paint. Comment down below. Stain or paint? What would you do in this situation? I don't. Look at that dove. Nice. Uh, I don't know what. I don't know. I think Pop Beefcake is team stain right now. Seems yeah. like that. I don't know if there's a. Uh, I'm kind of team like all in one paint sealant. Yeah. So I'm 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 team one and done. That yeah. Looks like crap. Team team one and done. I, whatever looks best. I'm I'm four. That's I mean that's really all that matters. So, you guys have let us know. I think the only downside to stain is overspray. If you're gonna spray the stain, I mean it's overspray and that's a nice white house and I'd like to keep it that way. So there's just a lot of surface area. We could roll both though. We could roll you could roll both. Could roll if you both. could somehow tarp the house, spraying would be like. I go really you'd, you'd get her done dead real quick. And I think that's why Pop Beefcake's leaning towards it. He's just hoping for a calm day and us to be able to prevent overspray as much as we can. Because, I mean, you can literally just... It's just like, man, that house is just white. We, it's just unforgiving. To, I mean, we'd have to tape off. Oh, the metal. Every single railing. There's also no true. You can put cardboard in there. Just cut it one house. And just yeah, like a little template. That's what Pop Beefcake's right? saying. You can make a template. I think if you had four rollers, well, some good railings. rollers, like good, long... Yeah. You know, self. Are you seen the self priming rollers? I'll just keep oh, pumping. Well, oh, yeah. You know what's funny? The uh, storage unit. Yeah, we, that we thing sold we one. found yeah, we that sold we didn't it. know what it was. That's what it yeah, was. Yeah, it was a paint roller. Fun. But anyways, if we do it, we'll get all the good. Yeah, you have like two self pumping rollers, so and then keep, and then two people on like the stair and just brush like it, roll it. The... Dude, I bet I bet an hour or two you'd be you'd be about right. But she's she's damp. She's moist. Um, we'll let her dry up. The car, the concrete back here now for sure needs power wash. But we'll have to let it dry because it's just a mud bath. But. Power washed the entire deck, start to finish. We got the driveway done, we got the sidewalk done, and we got the deck done by noon. Now we get to go treat ourselves to some delicious lunch. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I mean, that's pretty much what, what this channel is. If you guys are new here, hit that subscribe button if you liked what you saw. We'll come up with some more, there's more stuff to do. So you'll see in the future, maybe we'll do some uh, deck staining or painting. I'm trying to think of some of the other, we, got, we still have some more yard work to do. Mm -hmm. We've got a Harley rake the trail, the trail that goes all the way down to the pond. You can see it, it looks, Looks like booty cheeks out there. So we got a Harley rate, get reseed it, straw it, uh, fertilize it, try to get that going. Like I said, the, the whole plan is doing as much maintenance and stuff as we possibly can to make everything look nice for when we put this thing up on the market. That way somebody comes out in here and goes, sheesh, this place is sweet. And they give me top dollar. That's really the plan. But look at that yard. Well, not that, but look at that yard. That's a nice yard. I think Jake and I did good when we overhauled it. And the front yard looked really good if you guys saw that earlier too. Uh, it well. filled in good. You see the lighter spots that, yeah. like where it filled in. Like, yeah. I mean, still need some work. But once, once, that again, once that gets going, I think we'll be, we'll be in. It's sellable, right? We just got to get this thing. Got to make this thing look decent. So for twelve, I think it was a twelve-year-old. No, fourteen-year-old deck. Yeah. Fourteen. I think it was 08, I'm pretty sure. And oh, either 08 or 012. I don't know when this house was built. I'll have to go look. Either way, ten a decade-old deck. That I don't think has ever been washed or stained or resealed, um, to my knowledge. So. It's complete. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. We'll catch you on the next one. And remember, May 17th, 517, new Beefcake Construction merch drops. So you'll have to wait till it drops to get the link, but just mark it on your calendar. Thanks for watching. Peace. Okay, I'm back. I'm sorry. I just want to show you guys, there's no difference uh, between, at least to my eyes, there's no visual difference. That was scrubby, circle-y thing. That was not. I don't think it's a scam or not, but hey, there's no difference. <laughs> Yeah, it looks the same. <laughs> Identical. It cleaned nice. It just, it doesn't look any different. So I think that thing, I think that thing is nice for in your shop. You don't want to get water everywhere, but it isn't like a legitimate.
power washer that'll scrape and make your concrete look different. It does look nice though. It looks lighter and brighter and more vibrant. So, okay, now I'll see you guys later.